A new chapter in the fight over gun shows at the Del Mar Fairgrounds, the crossroads of the West Operator now suing the state-run venue after it effectively ended the shows last year. New at 5.30, 10 News reporter John Horn explains why the suit could reinstate the shows. Irrational public policies and dubious conclusions. That's what this lawsuit says led to the moratorium on gun shows. It continues that the gun shows pose no threat to the public. Gun owners are are now in this situation of being discriminated against. And John Siver says it's coming from the board that manages the Del Mar Fairgrounds. His group, the South Bay Rod and Gun Club, now fighting back. Should state property not be available for anything that's controversial? The Rod and Gun Club, a plaintiff in a new lawsuit challenging the Del Mar Fair Board's September vote that put a moratorium on gun shows until it revised its policies over things like safety and age of participants. It effectively ended the crossroads of the West show after 30 years. The show's operator, the lead plaintiff in the case, alleging the fairgrounds violated its First Amendment rights. And now California has the most strict laws in the state or in the in the country that deal with gun shows made us feel like they were taking a very reasonable measured approach to study the issue. Roseanne Sharp founded the group NeverAgainCA.org. It pushed for more than a year to get the gun shows off public property over concerns they glorify guns to a wide audience. We don't believe that state owned property should be used for the profit of sale of guns and ammunition flooding our communities. The fairgrounds declined to comment. John Horn, 10 News. Now, a letter from the ACLU on behalf of Never Again CA argues there is no First Amendment violation. The suit seeks reversing the moratorium on shows, plus compensation for a loss of business. No court date has been set.